without Reverend Fred Shuttlesworth, Birmingham would not have worked. You're talking about a man who had his church bombed several times, been beaten badly a couple times, been in jail numerous times. Someone blew his house up on Christmas night, 1956. The entire neighborhood thinks that Fred has been killed. He walks out the back door without a scratch, no broken bones, goes to the front of the building and calms people down and makes them go home. He tries to integrate Phillips High School in 1957 with his daughters and these individuals. They hit him with everything, bike chains, brass knuckles. The first time he saw brass knuckles, he was getting hit with them. This man goes to the hospital. Doctor's trying to figure out why he doesn't have a cracked skull or a contusion. Uh, uh, Reverend Shelsworth told the doctor, well, he knew I lived in a hard town, so God gave me a hard skull. He checks himself out of the hospital and goes to church meeting, walks in and is like, hey, how many of y'all are mad? Of course, people are mad, raising their hands. Y'all ready to fight, aren't you? People say, yeah, that's the, something has to happen. He said, I'm not mad. I got beat up. I'm not angry. This is the price of victory. And he told people that night, after getting beat within an inch of his life, that if he did one thing, broke one window, he would say you did it to hurt the movement and wouldn't support you. This person was a great man. He is the reason King comes to this town in the first place.